America, times like this, when you are in a situation where you are bringing a new addition to the family, there are a lot of highs and lows that come with the game of life and the game of childhood and the game of parenting. So now, our correspondent, Mr. GPS, is going to give you some knowledge, the KRS-One style knowledge of parenting, the do's and don'ts of parenting by Mr. GPS. So please, sir, take it away. You are the master of this. You gotta start putting up some money. So I don't care if it's $25 a week and a mutual fund or something, start putting a little bit away. Okay. Especially now, I wanna help a lot more later on. Mm -hmm. Let's not get off and out of shape because a lot of it's not that serious. Don't panic. Um, don't panic, okay? People are skitzing over small things because they ain't even thought about it yet. But don't worry, that's why I'm here. And to let you know what is coming. All right, well, well, let's do this. Let's do. Let's go around the bend here. Let's let's uh, get everybody else to chime in because we, we're we're an equal opportunity type of a show here. We give everybody their equal fair share. So, Marsha, before you can do another protest, please tell us any do's and don'ts for parenting. New parents. New parents don't overindulge. I see parents now. I did this when I had my kids, obviously. You just buy a whole bunch of stuff that you really don't need. Mm -hmm. That baby's going to be sleeping and pooping. All you need is a sleeper, some wipes, and um, pampers. Don't overbuy because you buy all this crap and they're never going to fit into it. So instead of uh, buying stuff, put that money away in a mutual fund or IRA or five nice. twenty-nine, um, because they're going to need that money. You need the money most when they get older mm -hmm. right now. Um, number two, don't be letting everybody kiss on your goddamn on baby. Keep hey. people at bay. Oh. People, like, don't let people touch it. You, you, you can take, hold it up. Look, this is my baby, but that's your baby and you need to protect it. And you don't, no one needs to be kissing on it and holding it without, with the outside clothes on. I know this sound old, but you got to protect your baby because there's so many things going around. Everybody's sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't want to you don't want the baby being sick, you know, no. that's just too much because then you're up all night talking about some why my baby's sick, but you don't let Aunt Mimi get all over the baby. So just just make sure mm -hmm. spend this time bonding with your baby. The mother people be all right. Okay. So yeah. of course we don't want to have the baby like living in a bubble for like the next six months until it's a No, no, no. Mm -mm. You know? I'm just saying like the first, you know, first month just be with your baby mm -hmm. get to know your baby okay and the next one is uh we said put money aside don't buy a whole bunch of crap and the next one is realize that no matter it's your baby you do what you think is best for your baby you can read because people all everybody will i would i would but it's not your baby mm, that's right you do what's best for your baby you know don't do anything to harm the baby but it's a trial don't don't beat yourself up if you don't think you're doing something right because you know what that baby's gonna love you and you're gonna love your baby so just do what you think is best for your child okay there you go i like that now mr cortez your turn since you are the most well now you used to be the most recent papa but now mr gps is now the most recent papa and the first grandpa here uh, yes, so, he is. I, yeah. I think Marsh just summed up the whole entire thing. I can't add on to what she just said because she summed it all up. I get that. Yes, Marsha, I'm giving you credit. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Uh, She's happy. Look at that. But, uh, you, but still, throw in some advice for oh, People want to know. I, would, I agree with her with the financial aspect of it is start putting away, start saving, start saving for, for your baby because... Yeah, I mean, I realize it still happens, man. Like, I still, you know, my my, my uh, mother-in-law, she comes over, buys my daughter all types of stuff. Doesn't she live everything. there? She really lives there, doesn't she? So. Just about, man. <laughs> and the thing about my daughter has grown so fast, she can't even fit the clothes, man. So it's like a bunch of clothes with price tags still and labels still on them and everything. You know, we're, I'm looking, I'm like, I'm like, man, she didn't need all this. <laughs> I told my grandma, I was like, you don't have to go shopping for her every five seconds. She's growing very fast. She's going to grow out of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Hey, I would say just, you know, have her buy more of the Pampers and the food formulas and stuff like that. Yeah, go buy buy a truckload of Similac and just leave it right on the garage, you know? We're cool. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I would tell a lot of young parents to do. Just stock up on diapers. Mm -hmm. Um, It depends. Some Like, you had a choice. You could breastfeed or do the Similax. Uh, we breastfed for about the first two three months i think we breastfed then we converted mm -hmm. over 
like Marsh is saying, you it, this is your thing. You, you roll it. You do it the way you want to do it. Because right. people will come at you saying, "I didn't raise my child that way." You saying, "Man, it's a child." Yeah, you shut the fuck up and sit in the corner and let yeah. me raise my child. <laughs> and sometimes you get like that because people are just Ooh. running up on you like, like if you take the take the fur of a of a cat's paw and rub it on a baby's forehead, it would clear the fever up type of shit. I'm like, uh, like oh, yeah, I, no. that sounds actually sounds oddly familiar. I've heard of that before. Um, yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Oh, hey, and Marcia's got this perplexed look. You've never heard of these old wives' tales or whatever. Okay, so being a mother, I'm um, number one. I I am I'm with with Cortez about breastfeeding. That is the best way to save money if you can breastfeed. Um, it helps keep the immune system up. It helps the mother by helping her get her body because I breastfed both my children for a minute. Um, okay. But it's not always the easiest thing to do. I'm, right. I'm just going to be honest with that. Right. Um, there are some delicacies or intricacies of it that may, but that's the biggest way to save money because milk ain't no joke. Similac is expensive. And plus, they um, add stuff okay. and all these additives up in there too. Yeah, yeah man, it's My cool. milk is best. I'm telling about it. And I, I actually sold some of mine. I was like, what? Produced a whole wow. bunch. Yeah, you, can you sell your your breast milk on the black market? You, you can do that, <laughs> what? man. It, so you have to test it and all that other stuff. But yes, I, I did so. I, I overproduced. Um, so why not make a couple dollars off it? It was like fifteen dollars a bottle. That yeah. reminds me. What was that John on uh, David Chappelle when P Diddy was looking? He was like. He sent the sent the what was it the rappers uptown to go find a woman with Brazilian find a Brazilian mm-hmm. woman. There. Oh, I got so, you can't talk I got about so. P Diddy knowing right now. You know you can't talk about. See, people. you know what I'm thinking, Chris. <laughs> I'm thinking of that Jim Carrey thing what, when he's talking about the whole birth thing. Can I get one today? <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard. I, that. I, I just got a whole new. I just got a whole new song. Oh man! Well, the, well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Grandpa. Now I gotta say, Grandpa. Go ahead, Grandpa. We can't say Marsha pushing P, but she is definitely pushing M. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Push it real good. <laughs>